Everywhere we go, people ask us, why do you hunt? Why do you fish? Why do you need to harvest animals in our modern world? How can we explain that it's more than the pursuit of our quarry? As outdoorsmen and women, we travel all over the world to experience nature in all her glory. We ensure the survival of every species through both love and commitment to its prosperity. We ensure these animals have a place to call home, food to eat, and safety to raise their young. Send them home. All right, we're feeling the rush. Here's the Saskatchewan. Woo! Feel the rush. to you by Banner Environmental Engineering. SCI Canada, first for hunters. Badlands, for all your outdoor apparel needs. KP Pest Control. Silvertime Wildlife Company, you'll need more wall space. CIF Canada. FTR Adventures. Your dream trip awaits. Lund. The ultimate fishing experience. And Mercury Marine. Number one on the water. Well, this morning we spotted a couple bucks. Head into a bluff. About a mile behind us there when we were just glass in the top of the ridge, seeing where all the animals were moving this morning. We couldn't tell if they stopped in that bluff or if they moved up into a kind of creek pasture, but at the very least, we're gonna go up there and have a look. And if they didn't hold up into that bluff, then we know they, that they're gonna end up in this creek pasture. And being that it's November 6th, they're kind of about pre-rut activity right now, so we just gotta find the does. They look like two good bucks, but we couldn't get the spotting scope on them before they got in the bush, so. Go we'll have a see anyways and see what happens.
the game plan didn't quite work out as planned. Back one's definitely the bigger of the two, but he's missing his front forks. Nice deer, but keep trying. They had no clue we were there. <laughs> Stay tuned. FTR TV will be right back. Well, we're just out here. It's just about lunchtime. Me and Graham, we're just going to start sitting down to have a lunch and just come up to one of my good spots and about a mile away just noticed a buck get up and stretch and he's big. He's a mainframe 5x5, a big typical. And I'm banking on him bedding as he just did right now. He just lied down out there on the back side of that hill. So we're going to sit here and watch him for 10 or 15 minutes, make sure he doesn't get up and then go make a game plan. The wind's coming like this and the way he's looking this way, we're gonna have to go all the way around him and come in over top on the back side, but it's easily done. So stay tuned, let's hope it works. Okay, we saw where that bet, buck bedded up there. What we gotta do is we gotta get around and get up behind him. The wind's finally in our favor, but we still got to backtrack probably seven, eight hundred yards to get close enough. So hopefully we do it, and hopefully he's alone, and there's nothing else bedded in there that busts us on the way.
Stay tuned. FTR TV will be right back. Stay tuned, FTR TV will be right back.
Oh, that was pretty exciting. <laughs> we spotted that buck a couple hours ago now and he was in this bedded draw and we were able to get all the way around him, come up and make a good play. And as we did it, I was joking around Oh, wouldn't it be funny if another deer shows stands up and then a white tail not what 10 seconds later jumps up oh that was perfect oh just textbook mule deer hunting in saskatchewan here spot and stock bed them it's windy hey graham we got a nice buck this morning i got a nice clean typical now it's not my biggest ever but he's still a beauty and the hunt was perfect the weather's perfect six above november 6th Atta boy, Graham. We did it. <laughs> Should we go have a look? Yeah. And just to think, if it was almost archery season, we could have probably snuck up and got within bow range. 81 yards. It's perfect. No. Only a couple hours. I thought it'd be longer. Good thing he had to poop. When you're ready. Oh, it's exciting. Only a couple days left in the season. It was Graham's last day. He got a nice buck this morning and looks like we're going home with a couple. How's that, Mr. Graham? Oh, this is a nice buck. Nice Saskatchewan muley. Oh, there's my Saskatchewan muley. Not the biggest in the world, but a nice clean typical. You know, we had a heck of a hunt. Graham was fortunate enough to get one this morning as well. It was his last day. I'm going for elk in two days, so I was running out of time. Had a perfect stock on this guy. You know, saw him about six, seven hundred yards away when he was just getting up for a stretch. And we were fortunate enough to use the wind and get a good stock on them. And, and that was that. So, perfect. Nice Saskatchewan white, or mule.